Good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you. It's uh, Tuesday, August 24th. Uh, I'm sorry it went a little long yesterday. I'll try to, <laughs> I'll try to make up for it in the next three days. Uh, uh, I, I guess I got on a roll with this time we're living in and, and prayer and so forth. So I'm sorry that it went so long. Uh, we're going to pick up uh, our, our focus as, as the people of God here. Uh, you know, we're, we're looking at the idea that we're made for community. We're made for friendships. Um, it's not good for a human being to be alone. Uh, and, and, and we're kind of looking at that and talking about it and then and then looking forward to the Red Letter Challenge when we're hoping to bring everybody into small groups. Uh, that's how we grow. That's how what Jesus did, brought 12 together. You know, the first Christians, uh, day of Pentecost, 3,000 came to faith. Uh, and, and one of the things they absolutely committed to is being in small groups with with uh, the teaching of the apostles, the, the, the word of God, right? Uh, being the center of what they did and they would talk about it and they would... Uh, uh, and 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 they would they would make this time together the fellowship extremely important and they would pray together huh and they would even celebrate communion together um so we look at those things and and we say we we really want to commit uh we want everybody to commit to being part of a small group during the red letter challenge when we look at the words of jesus and look to put them into practice and to apply them to our lives we do that best as a group uh, begins uh, ne next month so so I, I hope and pray you'll be able to be a part of that, huh? Uh, uh, what we looked at um, this last Sunday, and what we're going to talk about in the next three days now, is is what is to characterize these groups, right? Uh, uh, when Christians get together, and there's one word: it's love. Um, love is an action word. The the word for love that we're looking at, especially, is agape, which means that no matter what the need, I, I see that need, and uh, no matter what it costs me, I I um, I make sure and provide that for those around me. Uh, that's what Jesus did on the cross. And he says in John, greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friend. And we see that in Jesus, the greatest example. Uh, interestingly, right uh, just before he said those words, he said to his disciples, and it was Monday Thursday, uh, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. Um, and, I, and Sunday I asked that question, well, why would he have to say this? They were living together. For three years, uh, he showed them was what love was all about, huh? Um, and, and the re and, and the reason he had to say that is that uh, we struggle with with living it out, huh? And and um, and, and we looked at at these disciples, uh, and, and on that Monday Thursday, I'm, I'm going to read this again. Uh, this is what they were arguing about. It says a dispute arose among them as to which of them was considered to be the greatest. So on Monday Thursday, they'd been together for three years, had the teaching of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. He, he, he heard them arguing, right? Uh, and, and, then, uh, and then Jesus said to them, the kings of the Gentiles lorded over him. Those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors, but you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest and the one who rules like the one who serves. And, and so he's laying out what love looks like. This is what he does for us, right? He didn't come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. This is what's to characterize our time our, our whole lives, huh? And as we live in relationship with with others, especially our time together in in small groups as as Christians, and and that's uh, that's really our focus here. Uh, uh, I um I talked about Sunday uh, uh, how the Jesus I think intentionally brought this group together that would have these challenges to love each other, right? Uh, you had. Um, you had Simon the Zealot. He was part of a group that wanted to violently overthrow the Romans. Uh, and you had Matthew the tax collector, a collaborator with the Romans. <laughs> you had the Sons of Thunder who wanted to call down lightning on the village that, that hadn't listened to Jesus. Uh, I wonder how that worked out day by day, these guys that had this temper, right? You had Peter. I bet he got old. Uh, I mean, we like Peter because we can relate to him, but he, I bet he got old with his, his jump in with both feet all the time, not, not, not thinking sometimes or, or whatever, or Thomas uh, uh, you got to prove it to me. You got to prove it to me. <laughs> uh, but Jesus brought these together, uh, and He showed them that this is what love is all about: to uh, um, to to learn uh, to serve one another, uh, even in the challenges. Uh, so as we come together in um, in these small groups for the Red Letter Challenge, or in your families, whatever group you find yourself in as Christians, uh, remember Jesus' words: to love one another, uh, to uh, serve one another. Um, to put the other one first, uh, and, and um, to treat them as Jesus treats us. Uh, it is the characteristic um, that, that, that every time Christians come together, 
uh, should just jump out at us. Huh? And it's the one that God's spirit empowers us uh, to, to live in. And really what we were recreated in Jesus to live in. So w w would you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, you, you gave us a great example. You brought your disciples together in a small group. Uh, you did life with them. Uh, you showed us that this is how we grow. And yet, Lord, we have this great challenge because <laughs> sometimes we're not lovable. Uh, sometimes we bring anger. <laughs> sometimes we don't agree on, on some real uh, real hard things. Uh, uh, whatever it might be, Lord, we pray that your spirit uh, would empower us to love as you loved us, um, to serve as you have served us, to, um, to make these groups a place where the great character of them is that we love each other. Whether these groups are in the Red Letter Challenge groups, in our families, uh, or in other Christian groups that we're a part of. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.